professors and colleagues. I'm Arnen Gamed, lecturer at Basque Surgery in Chance University. And um, I'm here today to present my topic, early excision and the grafting of a good bird that I should make. Traditionally, early patients have been treated with uh, conservative management uh, with dressing using antimicrobial agent, uh, until uh, uh, escrow separate and formation granulation digital and then application uh, of split stainless steel graft. And actually, this process takes around three to five weeks. Uh, but patients with severe burns uh, treated in this manner uh, uh, more likely to die from sepsis due to massive release of inflammatory mediators. Uh, and the infection. Uh, and uh, also, this leads to prolonged hospital stay uh, and development uh, of complications like hypertrophic scars and joint contracture. So, this led us to uh, consider uh, early excision in management of this bird. As regards the history of early excision, uh, Barry in the 16th century was the first to describe the uh, importance of early excision and then Helden uh, considered the father of. German surgery advocated for surgical removal uh, of perineuscular. And in late 19th century, both Rivertine and Pollock uh, would be credited with successful use of skin graft in chronic burn wounds. 1940s was the period uh, of significant advancement in understanding burn uh, shock management. And in 1942, Forrest Young advocated for early excision and skin grafting to improve mortality by decreasing bacterial colonization, cells, and shock. And during this era, uh, early excision was considered from day 10 uh, till day 21. Uh, and in 1960, uh, uh, Douglas Jackson and his colleagues from England described early excision down to fascia uh, on the day of injury for the burn wounds, and they concluded that uh, 20 to 30 percent surface area could be operated on the day of injury without any increase uh, in risk of death. Uh, 1970, uh, Zora Jankovic was credited with describing the technique of tangential excision with immediate skin grafting within uh, five days of injury. And her results showed that a patient with up to 20% surface area could be healed within 10 days. After that, uh, Jean Berg and his colleagues from Harvard University showed that combination of tangential excision and full thickness purge. Uh, and full fascia excision uh, followed by immediate autograft markedly uh, reduced uh, mortality and successful treatment of children up to 80% surface area. And then numerous surgeons continue to validate and build up on giant technique, uh, technique and today early excision and grafting of burn within 72 hours is a standard of practice in most major burn centers around the world. So, the rationale of early excision is well known since the decades, uh, and uh, 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 according to several applications, and it's not a new concept. And it's to decrease the uh, release of inflammatory mediators and bacterial colonization wound, and this in turn attenuates the systemic inflammatory response, and then reducing metabolic derangement, sepsis, and multiple organ uh, failure. It also decreases uh, hospital stay, joint contraction, hypertrophic scores resulted from delayed uh, wound healing. And of course, there are components of early excision. And the rationale is mainly concerned with uh, uh, the massive blood loss seen after early excision. However, uh, with improvement of intensive care management, we are now able to better manage this patient. And also, uh, they consider uh, difficulty of assessing depth of wound and early period and uh, need to use skin substitute for coverage after early excision. Also, some authors uh, have shown no difference in mortality when early excision was compared with more conservative approach. So, obviously, early excision is a matter of debate. And we are continuously uh, trying to answer these questions 
uh, about methodology and the results, taking into consideration uh, uh, a lot of variable, variables, including inflation and injury, total blood service area, age, comorbidities, financial problem, and difference between low income and high income countries. And among these questions, bear index assessment, time of excision, technique, percent of excision, and effect on mortality, blood loss, length of hospital stay, sepsis, and cosmetic outcome and development of high blood drug scars. Bernadette has classically been assessed using clinical judgment, however, even burn surgeon, uh, surgeons uh, have, are only 70 to 80 percent accurate in their assessment. And in a prospective study, laser Doppler imaging accurately assessed Bernadette, and when available, it helped uh, to, to minimize uh, length of stay and improve uh, outcome according to uh, Jim Jim uh, 2011. Of course, this is a debate in time of excision, and some authors consider it for 24 hours, and others consider it for 7 days, and others for uh, 14 days. And uh, in, in his survey, Muhammad Ita in 2011 concluded that uh, early excision was performed uh, with a wide range between 2 and 12 days, uh, average time was 7 days. And another survey uh, in 2021 concluded that early excision and decrafting of burns within 72 hours is a standard practice uh, in most major burn centers around the world. There are many techniques available to burn surgeon for both excision and grafting. And the decision to use each technique depends on clinical situation, institutional availability, and personal preference. And any of these differences may affect grafting, functional, and cosmetic outcome. When we talk about coverage, um, in 2015, a study on the rule of allograft and Berg found that use of cryo-reserve cadaveric allograft may be useful for wounds uh, at high risk photograph failure uh, 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 and in complex wounds. Uh, also, in 2017, Israeli time in his survey stated that there is a generalized increase in integral use from 2007 till 2017. And he stated that new skin substitutes, uh, as new skin substitutes and wound healing technologies continue to emerge, uh, investigators and clinicians must recognize potential limitations in reporting success uh, and failure of these technologies, given variability in practice preferences. Uh, when we talk about mortality, in 2002, uh, Wukita stated that mortality was higher when excision done between day 7 and day 14. And this comparison of the data uh, uh, included in a injury but not corrected to surface area, which is an important value. And on uh, Ital in 2006, it stated that the reduction in mortality uh, with early excision and only uh, was only significant in patients without inhalation injury. And comparing low and high income countries, on Ital in 2021, in his survey, concluded that mortality is lower. Uh, in the late excision group in both low and high income countries. However, they were included both uh, uh, elderly and pediatric population. And when elderly, is, uh, is exclude, uh, when elderly are excluded uh, in high uh, income countries, the mortality isn't different in early and late excision. Uh, as regard blood loss, design Italian in 1990 stated that blood loss is markedly reduced if burns are excised within 24 hours or more than 16 days. And he attributed this to high uh, circulating vasoactive material like thrombocin A2, causing vasoconstriction and increasing blood loss. And after 16 days, blood removal of granulation tissue uh, lead to uh, less blood loss than uh, uh, early excision uh, uh, group. Uh, Only in 2006, uh, concluded that a uh, marked increase in blood loss was seen in patients who had their burns excised early when compared, when compared to the traditional group. However, in 2008, uh, a publication found that blood transfusion requirements increased after 16 days and explained this uh, uh, that the deprivement of bleed deprived organization tissue was associated with more bleeding, especially when it is infected rather than deprived. Uh, in a level of dry tissue as an early excision. The length of hospital stay was significantly shorter uh, in, in 
patient who had a incision according to several publications and cite that in 2012 considers that early incision grafting showed significant uh, result regarding grafting uh, uh, than that of delayed skin grafting. And Wong Kitan in 2021 stated both uh, in low and high income countries uh, showed shorter uh, lens of hospital stay after early incision. Uh, as regards sepsis, uh, um, uh, uh, application in 2002 found that the incidence of foreign bacteria uh, or fungal contamination and the invasive infection was decreased with early excision and grafting. And another one in 2013 found that early surgical management of permanent was associated with decreasing uh, incidence of nosocomial infection in permanent patient. And the same finding was stated by uh, Dr. Murphy et al. Uh, 2019, and uh, in, two, in 2021, Wong uh, found a lower rate of sepsis with early surgery in both low and high income countries. Several, uh, several publications found mortality in elderly patients uh, to be higher in early excision and support conservative management in elderly, with no sufficient data to compare comorbidities or concurrent injuries uh, that could uh, offer an explanation. Uh, for high mortality according to uh, several publication. And Design et al. have supported late excision in, uh, in Scott Bird in their pediatric population and even uh, stated that some uh, wounds could be managed conservatively. In conclusion, uh, early excision and grafting of birds is a standard of, black, uh, of practice in most major uh, birding centers around the world. And of course, we must take in consideration uh, important vari uh, variables uh, uh, like inhalation injury, total blood surface area, age, comorbidities, and financial problems, and difference between low and high income uh, countries, and ac access to uh, resources such as intensive care, blood products, and skin substitutes. What we do in our period, we usually uh, do early decision between uh, day two and day seven, especially. Uh, days 3, 5, and 7, we do usually tangential excision and sometimes down to fascia and deep for thickness burns. Uh, we excise around 5 to 7 percent uh, uh, of surface area per, uh, per each session. And we cover with autograft versus homograft, taking in consideration uh, bed after excision, total blood surface area, donor site, and general status of the patient. So we must deal with each patient individually, and dealing with burned patient uh, must be done in a multi-disciplinary multi uh, manner, uh, starting with intimate co contact with ICU team and plastic surgery team. And now in our burn unit, we have for each uh, uh, admitted patient a WhatsApp group for discussion, including both the plastic surgery team, uh, surgery team and uh, ICU team. Uh, including professor, assistant professor, lecturer, assistant lecturer, and even a resident. Uh, and uh, we discuss every patient individually uh, based on <coughs> given data and continuous monitoring. And we, uh, we could manage to decrease our uh, mortality and improve uh, our results uh, with this manner. Thank you.